Hey everyone and welcome to Grandma's Easy Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make kind of a cheater's way to make strawberry Nutella crepes and I'm going to add some blueberries also. So I really don't feel like making the crepes so I am going to be using some tortilla shells today. So first what we're going to do is we need a mixing bowl and we need probably about a fourth a cup of vanilla yogurt. There we go. Now to that, I am going to add about the same amount of Nutella. All right, next, just gonna add a couple of dashes of cinnamon. Just to give it a little extra flavor. And then some cream cheese. I wanna add probably about two ounces. Going to stir all of this together. I probably should have got out my blender. But I guess today we will use a little arm strength. So that is mushing up. I have behind me in my skillet, I've turned it on. I have probably a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of butter in it, just heating up. Looks like it's almost ready. I'm just getting the last little bits of lumps out of here of the cream cheese. All right, so that looks pretty good. So all we are going to do, let me grab my tortillas. Now I got the really small rounds. You could get bigger ones if you want. And I am just going to take one over and fry it on both sides. Not for very long, probably about a minute to two minutes on each side. So while that's going on that side. Now, I already have sliced up um, four strawberries. You can make more if you want. You just need to increase the size of everything that we're adding. This will probably make about four to five of them, which is plenty for today. Now my strawberries that I sliced up, I actually cheated and used an egg slicer. Made very nice slices and then I washed my blueberries. So I think the one side is ready to be flipped over. All right, so now I am just gonna take some of my mixture and scoop it on here. This kind of reminds me, my family is, my father is originally from Arkansas and we grew up on what are called fried chocolate pies and those are amazing. We will have to make those one day all right, so as you can see on my tortilla, I have just spread out my mixture. So to it, I am going to add to one side some strawberries. And then I'm gonna to top it off with some blueberries. Now, if you want it to be really fancy, you could also heat up some Nutella 
and drizzle it across the top. That way it would look a little more fancy and you could add some whipped cream. So I'm gonna get another shell out here and just make another one. I'm gonna give that a second to cook. So this one is all set to go. So it's kind of like a hazelnut fruit taco. It really doesn't get any harder than that. That was pretty easy. I still have my hazelnut yogurt, cream cheese, and a little dash of cinnamon mixture in here. And again, I can probably make about, well, I think I said four or five earlier. I think I could probably make five or six. And these are just a really simple dessert. If you forget to pick something up from the store, it's really nice and easy. I'll flip this one over. I did kind of get this one a little browner than normal, but that's okay. So again, I got the mini rounds. You can get the next size up. It would just make a larger one. I'm gonna move this over to the side and I'll do the same thing. So we're just adding a scoop of our mixture, spreading it around, maybe a little bit more. You can never have too much chocolate. And we're gonna add some strawberries. Spread them around on just one side because you're going to be folding it in half. And add some blueberries. And we're gonna fold it in half. And we have our second fruit taco. And there you have it. That was pretty easy, pretty fast for something that is actually really good. A lot of times you have most of the stuff on hand. So thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for our channel for more upcoming shows. Thank you.